Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Innisfere Wars. This is a uh, this is going to be a short mission. This is the second part of uh, of the drop, which von Skyme was part of. So the last battle. This is the second part, but it is Oblom against Folinara this time. Coordinates received. This lance is in honor of Edmund. Got it. It's in honor of me because. Uh, <laughs> Mass AC2? Uh, not quite. <laughs> Let's hear this. Insult might be more accurate. Okay. I'm listening. This is not a good start for how I'm going to commentate your match, but I'm, I'm watching. Let's see. So he's got two trebuchets, a panther and a locust here. So, I'm not sure I get it. I know that noise. That's the the enemy has a raven noise. The raven is definitely a good counter to a pair of trebuchets, so we'll see how this works out. Although that said, you know, sensor lock. Yep. Sensor lock doesn't care for your ECM. Roger. Copy that, Commander. Okay, pretty standard moves here. Don't need to tell me twice. What noise? We've had an unknown on sensor. All right. So we have Oblom down here in the valley. Holding for the right opportunity. That's not good. That's not good for Oblom. I can sense missiles coming down from on high. Standing by. Commander? Okay. So, I've got a sensor lock. All right, we have a javelin. So it's all you know the obvious strategy here for fallen is to just stay on the high ground, sensor lock, and uh, lob missiles till they run out. I'm not sure how I feel about going uphill from this position. Well, he's going for it. He's going for it. He knows that the locust has moved, so he could lock that. If he's got missile support, he could put some hurt on it. So yeah, in the Inner Sphere Wars, this is a commander. A, a drop, which is usually a three-part series, but I only have the two videos. What can I do for you? So sometimes that's just because. What do you need? After both sides take tons of damage, they are forced or dragged to the negotiating table for uh, for the last bit. So we'll see what happens. Sensors locked on. With so much high ground advantage here, the one of the trebuchets will have an amazing LRM bombardment. I have to remember, of course, that this javelin's been locked twice. So it's not going to get much done next turn with all the accuracy penalties. Okay, decisions, decisions. This is a relatively short game. Um, so obviously you guys can see on YouTube. This is going to end violently. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Go for it. Why not? You can always run it away next turn. Coordinates received. Okay, he's uh 
playing it a little bit safe. He always hates Trebs. I don't hate Trebs. I don't hate Trebs. Mischaracterized here. They have very little ammunition and it runs out pretty quickly. That's the problem with them. And they're slow. And they don't have great armor. <laughs> Apart from all of those things, they're alright. Alright, this is gonna hurt. These height advantages are making all the difference here. We'll go. Ooh. Jesus. That was a metric fuck ton of damage. <laughs> the javelin will not take many more of them. Forty-five tons. I can only presume that Oblom does not have any LRM mechs. What do you need? Waiting on you, Commander. I don't know. Do you really want to take a go now? Moving out. All right. I've got a sensor lock. That's the Raven. Of course, he just moves it now, right? That's the thing about locking first, is the other guy can just move. Uh, Oblum's thinking about it. <clears throat> the right move is to move that raven somewhere. Re-establish its defense. The problem is, he's down there in that... He's down there in that pit. He's, you know, the height advantage is massive. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Standing by. Fallen will be well within his rights to attack with both of his mechs here. Okay, he's going for a sensor lock followed by missiles. Yep. This is still gonna hurt a lot. Understood. Due to the height advantage. Ouch! That is not good. Okay, now he's moving the Raven. Yes, Commander. On the move. You know. He should have sprinted it away somewhere. <laughs> 75 and 70, totally worth it. Go for it. Do it! Ouch! That's gonna hurt. Well, that's basically that piece removed from the board. The Raven's been disabled, so you've gone from a light mech with actually not unreasonable weapon systems to a mech that's only good for a bubble that will never protect you from two sensor lockers. As far as I'm concerned, that's it. That's the Raven's dead. That's a uh, good kill. Let's move on with our lives. He always says he hates Trebs. Why we decided to have three trebs on this planet. But it was
was completely unnecessary. Okay. I don't hate Trebs. I don't hate Trebs. It's not true. I just don't like the fact that they run out of ammo so fast. And they're so lightly armoured. And they're so slow. <laughs> I don't hate any mech. I don't even hate the turkey. I just feel sorry for it. Okay, so we got a javelin that's just jumped up here anyway. Um, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> I mean, it's done a little bit of damage to that trebuchet, I guess. No, it's, it's a good idea to actually close in on the trebuchets. They can't, yeah. they can't really evade, so you might as well get up close and personal with them. Really? Are you really going to do this? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I hear ya. Uh, okay, that's a bit random. Confirm. Oh, he's going for it. Targeting for physical attack. Do you know what? It's worth it. It totally destroys his stability as well as doing serious damage. So now he really has to decide whether he wants to stay or leave. And if he leaves, he's going to have to brace to shed the stab damage. So, I actually kind of like that move. There's not... It's not easy for uh, Trebs to deal with lights, usually. Unless they're enjoying massive height advantages, of course. I feel like we're always waiting for Oblom to think about what he wants to do. Okay. It's a good hit, but he's going to need a couple more of them to actually get any real work done. Oh, they don't like me at all. Waiting, waiting, Commander. I worry about this javelin now because it's deep behind enemy lines. With no hope of escape. Good to go. The correct move here is to reserve, and then use the trebuchet to try and destabilize it. The other trebuchet. Because the thing about LRMs is, you can always more or less guarantee a certain percentage of them will hit. With only one bar le of stab left to get, you should be able to get them. 40%! That's good! 40%! That's good enough! Take it! All right, he's gonna sensor lock it and then take it. Sensors locked on. So now it will be about sixty percent, which should be f plenty, plenty to destabilize that javelin. Then he can just follow up with the panther and do massive damage. This hatchet man. Ooh. This hatchet man Weapon system down. is going to be a real Commander. problem for Wait, Follinar to deal with. No, no, don't go with the panther first. Go with the trebuchet first. Trebuchet. He's thinking if he gets the PPC hit, he'll destabilize it and then he can just alpha it to death. This is so risky. Gotcha. Ugh. There was no risk at all in using in doing it the other way around. It just felt like a mistake. The trebuchet would have destabilized it at the very least, opening it up for a really good hit.
I'm still very much thinking that Folnar's got this in the bag, but we'll we'll see. His main issue is going to be dealing with that hatchet man. He doesn't really have anything that can do much about it. But you certainly don't have to worry about the Raven because it's got no weapons. Yes, Commander. Uh, nope. That spot. Yes, that's the one. 65. Moving to position. I'll take it. Firing all weapons. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Reporting now you see, hit. if he'd have done it the other way around, he would have gotten a hit, you know, just slightly worse than that. And then he could have followed up with the Panthers, PPC, and SRM4. But, oh well. The devil is in the detail sometimes in these matches. The order of your moves can be, can be critical. See, there's no doubt in my mind that the LRMs destabilize that target. There's no doubt that that happens. Even at 40%. Okay. Interesting move, but... You know, you're hitting the other side of the mech there. So... We're almost maximizing the trebuchet's armor usage. Good old 3 HP arc light might be in trouble here. Now I was saying before about focusing fire into the uh, into one side to kill it fast, but with the with the leg crippled, any side damage now could potentially be fatal for the pilot. Oh, that hurt. Ooh, 17 HP. 17 HP and a knockdown. Gets the javelin. If he gets the javelin, then that's, uh... That's another big piece off the board. It's already half disabled. Okay, he's moving the Raven. Which I presume is to force Fulinar to take another go. They got a lock on me. Oh, no, sensor lock. Standing by. I wouldn't even jump here. It's obvious that Oblom's going to target the trench bucket, right? Because it has no defense and it's damaged. So he will target it. So why worry about the defense of your other units? You might as well just attack. And conserve heat. Targeting for an alpha strike. Oh. That's a kill. Okay. But this is not over. You know, despite the I fact that you. Oblom's taken a huge amount of damage here, this is this is a fight that is not over. Because this hatchet man has very little in the way of of units that will be good against it. If he maintains his mobility with a hatchet man, I can see him getting a lot of work done here.
Okay. I'm not sure why you'd go for a rear shot, because the rear armor is actually quite... Quite thick. Uh, Oof. I'm hit. Uh, uh, standing by. Waiting for orders. Arc light is in real danger of dying to injury here. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> oh man. Going toe to toe. The locust is going as <laughs> the locust is going toe to toe with the hatchet man. <laughs> God, could you imagine getting that order? Yeah, I'd like you to go and melee the hatchet man. Awaiting orders. But sir. <laughs> oh man. I feel like Oblom just clubs the uh, the locust in the face next turn and removes it from the board. And he can probably get this other trebuchet as well. Yeah, go for it. Medium lasers only. Why not? It's not a bad chance to hit. Just switch the LRMs off to conserve heat. Roger that. Still got plenty of ammo on this tre trench bucket. Whoa. Copy that. Okay. He didn't turn the missile launchers off. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Well, I guess it's some stab damage, but it was a pretty poor shot for the missile launchers. Maybe he feels because he's got a lot of ammo lying around. Well, I say a lot. A lot for a trebuchet. Okay. Oblong's still in a lot of trouble here, but I do feel that he could get get a few kills and even could even potentially win this game just depending on how the chips fall Oof Friendly battle mech down Ah The pilot is Reading dead you. Yes commander Oh, you're not going to do that, are you? <laughs> I don't feel like that's necessary. Then again, you could do it. I mean, it's not like the Raven's going to shoot him in the back, is it? I'm here. It's got no weapons. <laughs> Copy that. Target four and alpha. Oh, nice hit. Gonna need a lot more though. Hatchet Man has got lots and lots of health. I would be very tempted to just junk the axe into the locust and get rid of it. Although it would result in me taking some return fire. By. Need to get some pieces off the board. Plus, a melee attack will restore stab, although, follow up attacks will take it back again. I don't know, it's a hard decision. I am not sure how I feel about that. I presume that he's going to just shoot at the Locust, but the Locust has so many evasion tokens, I don't really feel like it's going to do much. I would have just hacked it and then taken my lumps after. Ah, 
took some shrapnel. Dead and commander. <laughs> we get, are we still doing this? Right, oh my god, we are. We're still doing it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, you gotta have big, big, ar big iron balls for that. <laughs> Forty percent, I'd take it. Forty percent's not bad. You could even use breaching shot. Just fire the one launcher. New order confirmed. Target locked. All right, that was bad. Like that was a weak. Uh, amount of hits for 40 percent. Actually, I wouldn't use breaching shot. You, it was the right move to fire them all. Just a shame that 40 percent. You should have landed about about 12 missiles, and he only landed like four or five. So that was really unlucky. Okay. You know, Oblong could could shoot this locust in the back. Probably kill it. Oh, why? That got through <laughs> my armor, Commander. <laughs> why? Oh, that was a mistake. That that was a mistake. <laughs> It had one evasion token, and it's back to you. You could have just shot it in the back and done more damage. And not put yourself in such an unbelievably compromised position. Two SRM6s. That's nearly a hundred damage. Yes, Commander. A mech that's knocked down cannot be cloaked. So he's as good as dead. Yeah, that'll do it. Lifting up. Oof. But no, uh, no CT hit. The trebuchet should be able to finish the job, though. You can't allow it to stand back up again because it still has all its weapons, so it's still dangerous. The, D the DFA was uh, was not wise. <laughs> Glorious to watch, but definitely an error. Silent jump. Go. <laughs> the silent jump is scary. I can't take much more of this. The Raven is here to provide its immense cloaking capabilities that are kind of a bit useless right now. That DFA was a mistake, yes. Yes, it was. Ah, multi shot. Multi shot, really? No. There we go, okay. No, fire it all. Oh, yeah. No, more. <laughs> Oof, okay. He got it. Hostile removed. 
He got it and he conserved heat, but I feel like that was actually quite risky. He could have... I think he could have just fired everything there and played that a little bit safer. I mean, it still had, I think, 43 hit points in the CT. It's actually quite a bit. Your leg had, like, no HP, lol. Full on hour dropping the truth here. I'm paranoid, so always double check the XL about that part. Oh well. <laughs> so salty. The excuses are coming already. I'm here. But this fight is not over. Until the hatchet man is dead, this fight is not over. I need to lose a few games to you anyway. <laughs> A hatchet man is still more than yes, capable of killing me. all of these mechs. But will he? Wujonk. Wujonk. just noted that the hatchet man did not actually fire all its weapons at that locust when it did fire, it only fired the machine guns. It got a lock on me. Alright. Yes, Commander. Fallen R's had his units submarined. Because that's what we needed was a submarine noise. Oh, ow. My god, that was a good hit. Well, now the hatchet man is actually starting to find itself in trouble. Jump in from rock to rock. It's probably time to just cool down. Or even time to sprint around and try and put it in a surround. Move order received. I've got a sensor lock. He's got luck. I'm here. Reading you. Does he really want to censor lock? The raven can just be ignored. It's not even a factor in this fight. Because of all the usage of censor lock. It does apply a small to hit penalty against missiles, but it, it's not big enough to matter. I'm not saying if he doesn't get an obvious chance to kill it, he shouldn't go for it, but... The primary objective is to disable the hatchet man before it does some real damage. Time eludes us. Two, one, zero... <laughs> aye aye. Good to go. Oops. He knows he's dead. That's his, that's the problem. Commander? Yes, commander. Got it. 
Which mech was the one that braced, though? Must be the Raven. Yeah, it was the Raven. So the Hatchet Man just moves now. Probably should just have gone after the Raven this turn, because actually it was gifted. Sound went for a second there. I was like, what? Alright, now it gets ugly. Goes after the trebuchet, I presume. Yeah, that's some good damage there. Awaiting orders. Punch him! Right in his face. Remember, the Raven's got no weapons, so you don't have to worry about protecting your back. Order acknowledged. <gasps> oh! Scored a critical hit. Boom! Aye, aye. <laughs> Just punch him some more. You're not about to outmaneuver him, and you actually have hardly any missiles left anyway. Just roll up on him smooth and punch him in the face. I don't really get that move. This map was just stacked hard. I don't know. I think Oblom chose a poor engagement, actually. Probably could have spent some time maneuvering around the map to get into a better position. They've got a sensor lock on me. Waiting for orders. I'm here. Yeah, I just... You might as well just let the hatchet man take his go, right? And then deal with him. Don't blame RNG for your losses, Oblom. Oh, that was a bad move. Should have just let the hatchet man take his go. You might as well punch him now. <laughs> See, the problem with all of this is he's going to get the go first in the medium phase. Sensors locked on. So he's just going to undo all of this. I don't get me wrong, I think that the battle is over now. And I think that uh, Folinar has won. But I'm not quite sure these are the right moves to quickly end the match. And I'm sure that Oblom would like to get another kill on the board. So if he can keep harassing this trebuchet, he might be quite happy. Yep, that hurt a little bit. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Yes, Commander. Man, he's cooking himself to do that. Yeah, just punch him. Why not? You're not going to hit him with your weapons. And he's going to fire at you every turn. You can't escape him. He's too fat. He's too fast. Uh. There we go. Now destabilize his ass by hitting him with the locust. 
Just a little locust poke will get rid of those evasion tokens. Yes, Commander. Oh, Oblom, you're so salty. Oh, he hasn't got a melee attack. Because of the... The cloak. <laughs> You're so salty, you blow my mind. Firing everything I've got. <sighs> Oof. I'm pretty sure the Panther can finish the job here. I'm here. Gotta remember that that PPC has got a minimum range. So play nice. Affirmative. Boom. Goal. Enemy eliminated. Commander. And now the Raven, which is of course, uh, has no weapons. On the move. So good luck. Engaging target. Ouch. Let's hope my luck recovers in round three. Okay, so there will be a third part. Of course, this means that Fallenara beat Von Skyim and Fallenara beat Oblom here, so... This has been a pretty solid advancement for, uh... Uh, the Combine. Reading you. Standing by. Punch him to death. Just punch him. Punch him. Attempting physical attack. Wow. And would you believe that the trebuchet finished the battle with ammunition in the can? <laughs> um, I actually feel like these lances were, were fairly evenly matched, but the terrain advantage really, really uh, benefited Follinar here, and also... Fallen our strategy of sensor lock and LRM bombardment was a good one from that that high ground advantage position. Um, opportunities were missed to kill the locust, which he really should have done. He would have taken damage. Don't get me wrong, the next turn he would have been focus fired and taken some damage, but at least it would have been gone. Um, the Locust got a lot done. It was just a complete menace throughout the whole match. Lock, 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 machine gun melee, machine gun melee. <laughs> it was like chipping away, chipping away. You can't ignore it forever. But if if I was Oblom and I had this match again, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have engaged on detecting the enemy on the high ground. I would have sprinted away and tried to find a position. Um, further away or you know there's a bit a bit on this map up the side where you can climb the hill and try and climb because you know a lot of these LRM strikes were devastating because of the height advantage so anyway that was a good fight um, I'll see if I can get my hands on the third part but if not then uh, I'll do some other fights and then maybe the third part will uh, will materialize at some point um, on all these videos, I've got them marked series number, match number, so if I get the third part of this series, I can just put that up. And yeah, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed the fight, and I will see you guys next time.